Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for attending the presentation. Today, I would like to introduce our research work, reproduction of flex and a flexible object deformation using RGBD sensor and a robotic manipulator. This presentation consists of four parts, introduction, methodology, evaluation results, and conclusion. First, I will start with the introduction. Today, the expectation for automation of work are increasing. Therefore, manipulating flexible objects into target shapes become an important research topic. According to the deformable objects manipulate, the existing research can be divided into three categories, the linear objects such as cables and ropes, planar objects such as clothes, and the solid objects such as a spongy block. However, the adaptation ability of most existing research is uh, kind of weak, and for some adaptive method, the expensive new data sets always need to be constructed. And there are two kinds of related techniques usually used in this field, ship estimation and deformation manipulation. Ship estimation aims to reconstruct and represent the 3D surface in a symmetric way, but some results are not suitable for deformation reproduction task. And can be easily influenced by the undesired deformation, such as surface wrinkling, surface roughness, or noisy depth data. For the manipulation techniques, the model-based method focuses on simulating the physical properties of the object, and the model-free method aims to find the heuristic solutions, such as visual surveying. Our work focuses on the deformation reproduction task of flex flexible objects and uh, consists of two major components. First is a deformation estimation method, which consists of two parts, a novel 3D feature point descriptor and a graph classifier method. It can extract major deformations and ignore the undesired deformations. Second is a real-time sensor feedback loop, it can achieve the deformation reproduction task of the flex flexible object based on the estimated deformation. Then I will talk about the methodology in our research. Here is the outline of the entire system, and the different color represent the different uh, methodology part. The first part is our deformation estimation method, and uh, it includes a uh, Novel 3D feature point descriptor. Uh, to apply it, firstly, we obtain a candidate area which contains all the 3D points of the object. Then, a local area planarity is calculated to quickly ex exclude the planar points. And for the remaining points, a rotated offset arrow checking model is applied from three scala and uh, 12 directions. It uh, checks the offset error, which is proposed in our previous work to, to decide whether a candidate point belongs to a major deformation. Finally, we generate a set of 3D feature points for next step. And uh, our graph cluster method will con construct a weighted graph based uh, on the set of 3D feature points we have gotten and through two coherences and uh, one continuous checking, the weight between each node in the graph represents the possibility that the two 3D feature points belong to the same crystalline or trough line. And then the mark of clustering method is applied to get each crystalline and the trough line. In the real-time center feedback loop, it is necessary to establish the correspondence between different states. Here, we use a random sample consensus strategies based on an arrow with send to find the approximate corresponding point between different uh, states. And uh, this method's time cons consumption is quite low and able to spot the real-time application. The generation of operation target is based on the feature of the NT actuator. Since we only use one gripper, we divided each straight line segment by a 
certain length and use the split point as the operation target. For the strip control, we use a regular designing strategy to achieve the sensor feedback strip control based on the operation targets obtained. And since the limitation of the basic gripper, the evaluation criteria of each operation target is only the distance from the back, background plan. That is the evaluation result. Firstly, we evaluate the performance of our deformation estimation method on different deformations of a handkerchief, which include the street deformation, curved deformation, and the two similar parallel deformation and the random distributed deformation. The result is shown in this figure. Our deformation estimation method can represent the deformation of flex flexible objects by a combination of the crystalline and the trough line. And for the curved deformation like case two, they are represented by a ser series of connected straight line segments. And here, our proposal only detects the major deformations and reduces most undesired deformations down to the surface Breaking surface roughness or noisy depth data. For the performance of the Intel system, we reproduce three kinds of deformations, which can be achieved by one manipulator with our gripper. And we use a point cloud to represent the shape of the object. Then we align the target shape's point cloud and the result's point cloud. And the alignment result is shown in this figure. To quantize the evaluation, we calculated a similarity of two ship to evaluate the performance of the ship reproduction task. Since there is around a, a 10 millimeter error in the hand air calibration process, we regard that if the distance of two corresponding point is smaller than 10 millimeter, we think they are in a similar position. And in the Experiment, our system can get a similarity of about 8% or more. Here is a demonstration video of our system. And uh, first is a deformation distributed in the center of the object. And uh, the manipulator will execute to the picking operation in each target. And after operation, our system will evaluate the current result and then generate the next uh, next uh, target uh, operation. Then modify the shift based on the evaluation result. And uh, then we evaluate again and uh, accept when the current shape is uh, similar enough to the our target shape. And second is a random distributed deformation. And the manipulator will execute to the picking operation to each uh, each target. Then evaluation and do the modification process first time. And then second time to evaluation. And the third time. Then, then the fourth time. And finally accept the result like this. And finally is the conclusion part. Our work is the reproduction of flexible and flat object deformation using RGBD sensor and a robotic manipulator. It contains two components, a deformation estimation method and a real-time sensor feedback lobe. 
through some experiment, we confirm the performance over three over the approach we are proposed. Therefore, there are some technical contributions and about the performance. The strip estimation techniques can effectively represent the major transformations by a operable and understandable form and avoid the undesired deformation. For the deformation reproduction task, uh, our work can achieve the target deformation, which is a similarity up to 8% and more. And that's all about uh, our presentation. Thank you for your attention.